That's nice of you, and back at you. Have a seat, please. That's uh, very, very kind. That's, I, I like that you, you, you finish and then you, you don't even realize you're still standing. That I'll have to, I like that you're that happy, and, and I also like the ga -ga 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 back. Um, and it's, it's, it's gotten out of control. It, I don't know where it started, but who knows how and when it'll stop. Um, okay, so today, uh, here's what happened to me. I was, uh, are you okay? You want some water? You want some water? We'll give you some. Here. You don't want to be choking. You don't. Keep it down. Um, <laughs> all right, I don't want, you know, when, you, when you're choking like that and you're in a restaurant and everybody acts like you're okay and then you're embarrassed, you go, I'm fine, and you're still really choking. <laughs> don't ever be embarrassed to ask for water. Um, and if you need bread, I'll bring you some. <laughs> Anything you need. Okay, good. Um, today, this morning, uh, something happened, and, uh, and I'll share it with you because we have the time. Um, I, uh, someone asked me if I lost weight, and I said, no, I haven't. And they were like, are you sure? You really look like you've lost weight. I said, no, I really, I would know. I, I, I haven't lost weight. And they said, did you, have, did you have glasses on or something before last time I saw you? And I was like, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Did you, maybe you've been out in the sun. Have you gotten a tan or a new haircut or something? Have you whitened your teeth? And I'm like, I, no, I, I really, nothing. I, there's nothing different about me. Well, you did something, because you look great. <laughs> Which I'm sure they meant as a compliment, but really what it came out sounding like to me is whatever you do, don't go back to how you used to be. <laughs> Woo, you were a mess. Because they were just so shocked. It was like, how, something happened. You're like so different now. And uh, that's when I realized she was thinking of someone completely different, someone fatter with longer hair and bifocals. <laughs> and uh, nothing, nothing different. I, I am the same person all the time. Uh, same thing, same, very rarely changed. The only thing that was different, and maybe this is what it was, is that I tried a new deodorant. And um, <laughs> because, uh, you know, I don't really fall for this stuff, but sometimes when they advertise it so fancy, I think maybe it is, there is a difference between deodorants. And I tried that invisible dry, supposedly. That's what I'll say right there, <laughs> invisible dry. <laughs> they, it's not, there's no such thing. It's, I put this stuff on, because I have the problem all the time with the deodorant, where I put the deodorant on, and I, I will show you how I do it. Um, <laughs> And uh, in case you have the sound turned down at home. <laughs> She's talking about deodorant. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, but I, but I put the deodorant on, and no matter how long I wait, I put my shirt on, and I always have those lines that end up down there, those three lines. And it's just ne never attractive. And you try to rub it out and try to do And it, they always have those three lines. And it's not stylish. So what I thought someone should make popular is, you know how the jeans are really fashionable now that look like they have the creases right there? <laughs> they should make that popular so you never know you have those lines. <laughs> that's, that's my idea. I'm thinking. I'm always thinking. But anyway, so the, 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 the person today, the, the point is I would know if I lost weight, and I kept saying this because I would realize that my pants were larger, my clothes were bigger, I haven't eaten in a while, my hair and teeth are falling out. And uh, that, that's what happens when you lose weight. But anyway, uh, the, the person insisted finally saying, well, maybe it's just in your face. And, uh, you know, and that is the worst thing. That's true. When you lose weight, the, only, the first place you lose weight is in your face. You're trying to lose weight because you're trying to lose it in your stomach or your thighs or your arms, anything. And all you lose is in your face, which is never. And then you just look like a, a drawn-out older person <laughs> with a gigantic bottom body. 
So, but anyway, I finally told her, I said, yes, I lost weight, just because she wasn't going to take no for an answer. And, uh, and then I realized that I get a lot of the people that when they see me out uh, in public, they'll say, you look so much better in person, which, uh, <laughs> you know, I, you know, <laughs> I like that, I guess. I like that I look good without all this. But, you know, television, they say, makes you 10 pounds heavier and a foot taller and sideburns. And, um, <laughs> But it's ironic because they spend millions of dollars to make me look really good here. I mean, like, there's five hours of hair and makeup every morning I'm sitting in. This is a weave. Um, it should be the opposite. For this kind of money, with the lighting and the makeup and everything, I should look smaller and better on TV instead of larger. You know, and you'd think they'd invent a camera that would make people look thinner, because they keep saying everybody looks 10 pounds heavier. They should have, like, a Sony trim -a slim like a, you know? Again, why do I have to think of everything? <laughs> but whether you see me on TV or in person, I always look the same when I'm dancing. Watch. right there, Tony. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was feeling naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I've never danced with a riff raffle before. You start something new every day. I do. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I gotta get. A, uh, if I gotta find a way to get up there and dance with you. Ah, we'll work it. We'll work it. Because nobody yeah. sees what a good dancer you are. Oh. They, they just see the top of you. <laughs> Thank you. She's fantastic and adorable. Kate Hudson is on the show. Uh, she's, uh, and she is someone who, who, she looks good anytime. In person, on TV, in a film. Uh, Goldie Hawn is her mama. And uh, she looks a lot like her mom. She's absolutely beautiful and a good actress. And on uh, Raising Helen is the new movie. And uh, it looks great. Um, also on the show, people seem to like this young man, Julian McMahon from Nip and Tuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Oh, he's handsome. He's very handsome. And Nip and Tuck is like they, uh, one of the 10 best television shows. Nip and Tuck, no I can call it Nip and Tuck. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry like the rest of society. <laughs> I think we need to slow down. Nip slash tuck. Nip and tuck. <laughs> That's what the slash stands for, right? right. Nip slash tuck. Nip and tuck. <laughs> you watch. It'll, it, it'll catch on like wildfire. Now that I've said it. They're going to change it in all the TV guides. <laughs> also on the show, they're responsible for starting all the Hala Awards. Allie Crum and Trent Douglas, little kids, uh, are here. Um, they're nine years old, and they started our whole Hala Award thing. Uh, their, their idea at school, Random Acts of Kindness, was a good idea, and so they're here. Um, also, the big finish. Uh, they're from, uh, I believe they're from Michigan. So we flew them here. Today's big finish. It's so big, it's blocking out the sun in parts of Asia as we speak. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. 
Um, sometimes I'm kidding around, but I'm serious. <laughs> Today, uh, let's see who comes in from the Rip Raffle, all right? <laughs> Sherry Hansen, come on down! Fantastic. <laughs> you're a little out of breath. Oh, this is too exciting. It's very exciting. And uh, don't you worry, if you're thirsty, we have beverages. We have water, Red Bull, hot cocoa, uh, fruit platter, meat and cheese tray, and a pastry selection for you today. And Nate, our waiter, will come up over and uh, take your uh, order in just a second. Where do you live, Sherry? Um, California. Uh huh. <laughs> could, could you be more vague or no? <laughs> All right, well, we're happy to have you here. We're very excited for you. Thank you. All right. Um, hey, uh, it's time for What's On Your Mind. Yeah. All right. Salvador Peaches is a woman that I... Uh, God, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> Salvador Peaches sounds better. <laughs> I know her name is Peaches Salvador. <laughs> I'm going to call her Peaches and Salvador. <laughs> Peaches Salvador is a... Well, the reason I don't know her name is because I don't know her, but someone uh, met her in New Jersey at a wedding, and, and she said, oh, I watch the show all the time, and if Ellen wants to say hello to me, she can. So I, I said hello to Peaches Salvador on the air uh, just because she said to say it, and so I did. <laughs> And I do as I'm told. And so uh, she wrote me a thank you uh, letter. Dear Ellen, first let me say congrats, congrats, congrats. You deserve the honor. I think your show is great. Everything about it is terrific. Great job. Hats off to you. Now let me say thank you for saying hello. It made my day. And also to my family and friends who are also fans, you made me a bit of a celeb for the day. I do not think that my dad would have expected me to have so much attention when he looked at me in the nursery 57 years ago and said, <laughs> she looks like a little peach. <laughs> Here I am, 57 years later, still being called Peaches. Well, I guess you never know. Peaches Salvador. So there you go. Peaches, uh... <laughs> we tried, um... We tried to say several times, uh, to, uh, hello to you several times before, but for whatever, whatever reason, we couldn't say hello. So, uh, but now, now we're saying hello, and then we read the letter, and hello again. And, uh, now I'm sure I'll get another letter. So... <laughs> Never stop. Um, and this comes from Jean Veruso from Metairie, Louisiana, my birthplace. Um, hello, Ellen. Congrats to you and your staff for the awards. It is always fun to see your show. I think you are amazingly and brilliantly witty. However, I wonder each time I watch your show, what is up with the beautiful empty plate on your tabla, pronounced table? <laughs> I've come up with the conclusion that perhaps you and your staff are at ends trying to decide what to put in Put, it, put in it for your guest. With cheers and laughter, Jean Veruso. Um, I'll tell you something, you are absolutely right. Uh, this, this bowl right here, we have, oh man, it's every single day since we started the show, I, every meeting, every writing meeting, just take a look. This is this morning's writing meeting. That uh, does it for the meeting today. Once again, the bowl. Let's talk about it. How's some... Oh, well, it's a giant bowl, so the first thing that came to mind was a giant fork and a giant knife. Oh, to put on each side. Okay, but we're looking for something to put inside. It's a good idea. You're thinking that along the right lines and, uh, and yet completely wrong. Um, I thought pixie sticks, because usually sugar's in a packet, but these are in a tube. So right. let's do it. So you're saying sugar is normally in a certain container, but we're a different kind of show, so we have a different kind of container. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. Don't love it. But I like it. I just don't love it. Okay. But let me think about it. Cool. Can I have these? Yeah, I have more. So okay, fine. thanks. This is enough. What about nuts? Has anybody thought of nuts? Who brought these in? 
That's fantastic. <laughs> so, as you can see, the bowl is still empty. But don't go away when we come back. Kate Hudson's gonna be here, even though we've got an empty bowl. Just wait for Kate Hudson. She'll think of something. Everybody seems to order the water and the fruit tray. That's, that's the popular item. We're gonna have to expand the menu. Everybody's picking the light fair. Yeah. Good. Our first guest is an Academy Award nominee who lit up the screen as rock groupie Penny Lane in the blockbuster Almost Famous. Her new movie, Raising Helen, opens in theaters today. Please welcome the delightful and talented Kate Hudson. <laughs> To sit in something? It will be in five seconds. Okay. Okay. Well, it's just, it's amazing considering you just had a baby at, at all that you can wear anything that tight uh, at all. Well, but wait, let go. me let me clear something up. I gotta find out, because have we met? Yes. <laughs> Where? Um, dinner. We had dinner together one night. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Well, yes, it was in Hollywood, and uh, I was with some friends that were mutual friends of yours, mm -hmm. and we were all eating at the same place and decided to get the same table, and we ate. So it was probably one of those long tables, and you never really talked to the person no, way down there? No, I was there. right across from you. <laughs> I'm always, you know those long tables that I, I think those are the worst tables. They should always be round tables. Those long, I'm always in the middle where each person on each side of me has turned the opposite direction. <laughs> so I'm just in the middle. And, yeah, that's, yeah, that's that. Those are the worst. Yeah. all tables should be round. Yes, Ta but ra my dining table's square. Square and long. Yeah, no, round is best, and it's a good card playing table too. Yes, I'm into the I'm, poker I love, lately. Oh, you into I, the Texas Hold'em? Oh, oh, please. Yeah, then we'll play. I'll we remember should. that. Yeah. Because yeah, because I'm way into that right and, now. And I'll, I'll win all your money. All right. <laughs> I don't think you will. <laughs> and we have a game in between. Do you know High Low? That I too? love High Low. Isn't that great, too? Yeah. That's a fun game. I'm a big card. I oh, love good. cards. Well, because you... I love Monopoly and yeah. I love Risk. Yeah. I don't know that I've played Risk. I, will, I want to take over the world. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get your little men in there and you yeah. get all... Yeah. It's yeah. Like intense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've played that game. But I love games. But we'll, we'll play and then I'll remember. Cool. And now you're home um, all the time with the kid now, right? I'm actually working. Oh. I wish I was home all but the you, time. Are you, with, you're with, just doing... With you're the kid. Do, you're doing... <laughs> the, kid, the kid's name is... Ryder. Ryder's a good name. Ryder is a good. I love that name. Yeah. yeah. He is. He is so gorgeous. This oh, is. Uh, is this issue? This issue brand new? Yeah. Of, uh, oh man, look how beautiful this Here baby he is. Here is a little booger. Whenever. <laughs> oh God, that's cute. And then there's your husband there. Yeah. There rock he is. star guy. <laughs> I love him. I really do. <laughs> now, um, so so little Ryder is five uh, months old, and yeah. and how are you working and having? Don't you just want to stay home you know, and stare at the baby? I do, I do. I'm just doing it as best I can, you mm -hmm. know. Just taking every day as a new day, and uh -huh. you know, he comes on set, mm -hmm. and and uh, I feel lucky I can do that. Uh -huh. And then that's so five months old, and you had gained. 60 pounds when you were pregnant? 60 pounds. And you lost 60 pounds in five months? I still have like five, eight pounds. No, you don't. Yeah. I no, do. you don't. Well, no, I'm, I'm not worried about it anymore. Yeah. I'm not like trying to anymore. Yeah, but you look no, great. I'm not, I'm not, I don't fixate it. Well, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you look great. I, so, and, and, uh, but is that bad to, to gain 60 pounds? Because you're supposed to have that. You know, I think my doctor was a little worried. Really? Yeah, I think he was just like, you know, he would say things like, oh, kid, you know, you, you should really, uh, you know, you should eat like you used to before uh -huh. you were pregnant. And, uh -huh. and, but he would never say, you know, he would never say, Kate, you're, you know, huge. 
And yeah. This could be a problem. Right. Yeah. But it wasn't a problem. And it how, wasn't a problem. How much did Ryder weigh? Well, I, I, I did have a C-section, so uh -huh. I, <clears throat> who knows, but. Who knows how much Ryder, he weighed? Well, they, no, they Ryder weighed. was 8, 11. <laughs> okay. He was 8 pounds, 11 ounces, two weeks early. Yeah. I was like 9, 13. I was 10 pounds. Really? That's... My, my brother was 11. Wow. That's a, those are big babies. Yeah. But that's good. That's great. Yeah, it is. Um, we have to uh, take a break. And one last question. Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Kate Hudson, my good friend Kate. And um, <laughs> so <laughs> your husband uh, is, uh, is, he's touring right now, Chris. Yeah, and, he's uh, on the road. So it, it's, it's the Black Crows, right? They're still called the Black no, Crows. No, he's touring oh. with his solo band. But um, yeah, he's touring with his solo band. But he's still in touch with his brother. And mm -hmm. That's the Black Crows. I don't know if you know anything about it. I know. Him and his brother. Yes. Yeah, I know the Black Crows. Oh, yeah. But I didn't okay. know he was doing a solo yeah, thing. Yeah, it's and, a solo thing. And it's called? Uh, New Earth Mud. Yeah, New Earth Mud. Mm -hmm. And he's, so he's on tour, and you're going to take Ryder on tour with him? Uh, not this time, but I'm going to try, yeah. Yeah. You know, it, 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 you know, I found out that Tim McGraw and, uh, you know. Faith. What's her name? Faith yeah, Hill. Right. Yeah. Faith Hill. <laughs> she, they have this bus that kind of extends into this, you know, yeah. Single wide, you know, mm -hmm. it's like this big traveling. Mm -hmm. So if it's not a single wide until it extends into a single wide, is it flat? <laughs> no, it's just, it's like a, it's like an in-between wide. And then it goes to a single. And then it goes to a single. <laughs> All right. But you know, and I, I just, I just figure, you know, how much fun would it be for a kid to like live on a bus for a little bit and have their bunks and put little sticky stars up and run around backstage in yeah. a different city every night. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Well, <laughs> only somebody with a whole lot of money would say, how great would it be to live on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know, it really would be. But to most people that are living on a bus right now going, what? <laughs> I'm trying to get off of this bus. <laughs> But some of the buses, because when I toured, when I did stand-up, some of those buses are nice, because yeah. I had, like, a bedroom in the back, and it's... Yeah, some of them are, are beautiful. Did, have you toured on a bus before? Yeah, with oh, yeah. I've but don't you feel like when you're laying down trying to sleep, it's you're, a like... submarine. You're doing the, the luge. You're, yeah. You're kind of, like, just flying. <laughs> yeah. And, and you're taking corners, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It was so hard for me to adjust to that. Yeah. My mom went on the bus one time and was like, oh... This is like living in a submarine, you know, like you go into your like little hole, you know. Yeah. It's, it, it's pretty, it's pretty intense living yeah. on a bus. Yeah, it's hard. I did that for three months. I was going to say, you, you know, being a comedian, you're yeah. always on the road, right? Yeah. Well. Not anymore. Now, <laughs> now they come to me. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, 25 years I was doing that. So, um, uh, it's, there are too many commercials. Although I'm sure this is a very important product. We'll be right back. <laughs> Raising Helen, uh, that looks great. And Gary Marshall directed. Gary Marshall. Raising Helen. And, yeah. and you inherit three girls. I inherit three children, uh, one boy. Okay. Two girls, three uh, three boys. <laughs> no, two 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 whatever. <laughs> and 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 um, and then we go on a journey, you know. And mm -hmm. I lose my job, and I, you know, everything kind of goes. Astray, uh, and and I try to put the pieces back together, and it, it it all turns out okay. I hope it turns out the way life is. You know, it's a very sweet film. I yeah. mean, it has a real message. I mean, it turned. You know, life has got its struggles, and mm -hmm. you know, you got to laugh through them. It's kind of it's, it kind of is how Gary Marshall is as a person. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So it, it does end out of So it basically is, I mean, because, you know, the way you get the kids is, is a horrible way. And yeah. then it's a comedy and it's, it's a little romance between. Yeah, it's, you, yeah, me and uh, John Corbett. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Good. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, well, it looks great. It looks really good. And Thank you, you. You look really good in it. You, Thanks. Um, and uh, it's great to reconnect with you again. Yes. Um, <laughs> so glad we had this time. Here's the thing. Uh, the, the picture that we saw of Ryder, he's adorable but naked. And uh, we felt like maybe he needs some clothes. It sounds like, uh, you know, putting him on a bus being naked is not a good idea. Um, so we, uh, we got a little outfit for him. And we put his, oh, the logo, 
goodness. How, how great is this little outfit? Look at his little oh. shirt. Isn't this great? And then, oh, look. Look at the little jeans oh and patches, just, like, just like his yeah, dad. Just like his dad's, we copied it. Because there's oh a there's a picture, wait, hold that one second. Oh my God, we can show the, yeah, this is too cute. it's cute, isn't it? Look I was, at this. They did such a great that's job. Band. Oh, there's a, that's uh, the picture we copied from Chris's oh uh, outfit God. there. And then, this then. This is the cutest thing ever. We couldn't find the exact sunglasses, but we got little sunglasses. <laughs> and look at these adorable little shoes right there. <laughs> Thing. We so got you a guitar, courtesy of Samick Guitar. Oh my God! You know that oh, when he starts yeah. playing, yeah. isn't that great? He can oh. stop playing guitar. Oh, this is so. This is a, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh so, how cool! So I thought that he, cause, and then oh. he can match his daddy with the oh. exact same, because Chris's name is on top of that. That is the cutest thing. It's the greatest ever. thing. Our wardrobe people oh. worked really hard on this. They made this for you. This is just so. Thank All right, you Raising so Helen much. opens in theaters today. The Holla Awards. <laughs> Kids are going to join me after this. We'll be right back. Without our next guest, we might not have one of our favorite segments on the show called the Holla Awards. <laughs> From Sheboygan, Michigan, please welcome the original Holla Kids, nine year olds Trent Douglas and Allie Crumb. Recap in case people don't understand. So, oh, sorry. Lord. Um, and uh, just to recap what happened, uh, we uh, we got a letter from you before we even thought of doing this, saying that you started doing random acts of kindness in your third grade class, and you wanted to for me to give a, a shout out to your gym teacher because she was encouraging everybody to do that. So we started the Holla Awards because we thought that was a good idea. But also, you offered to pay me two dollars if I did it. <laughs> So, uh, and, and thanks for the $2, by the way. Oh, I no appreciate problem. it. Um, <laughs> now, so, so explain, you, you, you were doing this because your gym teacher was, was what? She was a lot of help. Yes. She, she does a lot of fun activities with us. She does jump rope for heart. That's for people with holes in their heart and uh, heart attacks. Uh-huh. And she also does field day. Uh-huh. That's where we do a bunch of games. The school does a bunch of games, mm -hmm. like around 30 of them. Mm -hmm. And you just have a little tag on your on your clothes mm -hmm. in the back, uh -huh. and you get to sign them. Uh -huh. And if there's first and second place, you have a partner with you. Uh -huh. So she just encourages everybody to do good things for other people all the time. And you did something yeah. really, uh, well, first of all, when I called you at home, uh, was, that, was that exciting? Were you surprised? Because you didn't seem surprised when I called you. Well, Mr. Hall, my teacher, he told us. And so that gave it away, big time. <laughs> Trent had a big talk with about the loud mouth. He, yeah. he had a big talk with him? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we were trying to surprise you, and we didn't think you knew, and then I called you, and you were like, is this Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is a weird thing to just say to somebody who calls you. <laughs> Chances are it's not going to be, but it was. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, and now, w what are the other things you've done? You did something for the, uh, the custodian there at the school? Yes, yeah. we cooked a dinner for him. We made... Salad. Yeah, salad with French dressing. dressing. Uh-huh. Um, we made... Rice Krispie treats. Yeah, Rice Krispie treats, chicken. Stuffing. And, and yeah, what, what stuffing. else? Stuffing. And, uh, bread. And bread. Yes. What? And a bottle of water. Bottle of water. <laughs> And, and did, who made this? You didn't make it. Where'd you get the food from? Uh, Walmart. Me and Allie. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend Ashley went to Walmart and helped pick out all the grocery stuff. And where do you get the money to buy stuff? Where'd you get that money? We raise it, like, out of popcorn sales and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bank sales. We have big sales with all the goodies at lunch. We uh -huh. also turn in cans at Walmart. Uh-huh. Are you too involved in any way? <laughs> in what way? I don't know. <laughs> you, just, you just seem like you're good together. You're just best friends, or, or how are you two doing this together? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, we're representative. 
Re Re representing. The, yeah, You're representing you. the, <laughs> the class. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, I think, and, and this is the first time on TV, right? Yeah. Uh, well, no. National. Not yet. Nine Ten News. We've nine Ten News, where you live in Michigan. Local. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you, you're, because you're very well composed. Huh. Yeah, and, and you also, I mean, don't you think? Yeah. What does that mean? Well composed. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much have, you're, you, you're, you're chilling. You've got yourself together. You're not stressing in any way. You're, yeah. Yeah. All I'd right. say. Yeah, I'd say too. All right, well, first of all, I want to, because the whole third grade class does really nice things. Like you said, you're representatives for them. So I thought, we should give Hala awards for, um, for, the, for the class together. All right, so let's give a, a Hala for them right now. Hala! 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 Great. And those are for you to take home. Oh, thank you. Thank so you, you can, you thank know, you. Hala anytime you oh, want to. And we have, we have some gifts for you. Uh, bring them on out. We, I know, let's walk over here. You like Viggo Mortis Morton, right? And look, we have. Aren't you excited? Yes. Look. Here's the whole thing here, and the poster oh. from the thing. And you like, uh, you like Animal Planet because you want to be a vet, right? Yes. Oh, let's go around the front. Wait, hold on. And, uh, and yeah, the whole thing. I know you like Vigo. This yes. is. You want to be a vet, so from, from Animal Planet, they gave you all. And look, Jeff Corwin signed something with a little spider on his face. And you two get th uh, the uh, skateboards for, with the holla on it, and then helmets and knee pad, you know, to be safe, because you Thank don't want to be really Thank careful you very, with that. Very much. So you can skateboard. <laughs> yeah, you skateboard down the street on the, you know, you're like, holla! Yeah. Like that. All right? Thank you. All right, turn around just so you can say goodbye to everybody. And uh, you can't even. <laughs> kids dancing like crazy during the commercial. They, they heard that music and went wild. <laughs> Our next guest stars is Dr. Christian Troy on the hit FX series, Nip and Tuck. Take a look. <laughs> Please say hello to Julian McMahon. some of those little fruit bowl stuff with you, or is that just yours? You can have some of that. I'd like some strawberries. Okay. They're in season. Let's bring it over. Bring it on. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't want to thieve your strawberries. No. no, no, no. Later. You and I will get together and we'll, yeah. we'll, talk, we'll talk about strawberries. Wow. I look, get a welcome like that everywhere I go, just so at, that you know. Look at the benefits of sitting in the riffraff luxury box. Now, have you and I had dinner? Have, yes, we, we sat opposite each other. We did. We have yeah. met before, too. At the time, you told me you loved me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a blackout. <laughs> yeah. For both of us. Yeah. Now, have, no, seriously, because I feel like I've said hello to you someplace. I think I, uh, We actually did say hello. Uh, I think it was on the red carpet at the, at the Golden Globe Awards. See? Yeah, and you were moving on and something, and I had to say that you were the best thing in the world because I watched... Uh, uh, Dory about 5,000 oh. trillion million times. And really? Yeah, now I just watch it on my own. The kid plays behind me. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even about the kid anymore. And I'm like, get in here and watch. She's like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I just want to watch my favorite scene again. Oh, well, thanks. Well, thanks. Well, thank you. Yeah, I feel like I felt like I, I had said hello to you somewhere. Yes, we had. Yeah. And Our, we've had dinner. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's really getting to be embarrassing. It's a tough night for her. Yeah, it really or is. day, should I say. Yeah. Now, and I'm listening to you talk, and I, someone said you're from Australia, and I don't believe that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not then. Who cares? No. Um, Are you? I, I am. I'm from Sydney, yes. And, and what, what, how long ago did you leave there? I actually originally came here about 17 years ago. 
Um, so, but during that period of time, I, w I was in Europe for a part of the time, whatever, probably about 14, 15 years have been spent in this country over I, the last 17, little, 18 years ago. I hear pieces of it a little bit. Did you purposely try to get rid of the accent? Yeah, I basically had to when I first came to America as an actor. I had to get rid of the accent. That was all there was to it. There were basically no roles for Australians except for, you know, Outback Steakhouse commercials. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which I was willing to do, but I actually went up for an Outback Steakhouse uh -huh. commercial and said, no, no, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> they hired an American who did a better Australian accent than I did. Really? So, um, I know, go figure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, ba I had to adopt a, an American accent. Uh-huh. Yeah, if I wanted to go out for ma majority of the roles. And, and you, were you modeling when you first came here, or? When I first came here about 17 years ago, I was, yes. And would, were you modeling in Australia? I know I'm not that svelte right now, and I don't yeah. look like I should have been, but back then, I tell you, as a What team, are you talking about? You look, you're gorgeous. <laughs> you look great. I don't oh, know thanks. what you're talking about. I'm just fishing for compliments. Okay. <laughs> and, um... I'm an actor. I need that kind of boost. This, uh, oh! Then, if you want to scream, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Now, that's, That was last week. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's the sa safe See, way to You can to tell by the hair that it wasn't last week. Yeah. Look at that. That's an 80s hairstyle, I think, if ever you've seen one. That's a good way to push muscles out, though, by folding yeah. your arms right there. I you do can that. actually... Look I still it. do that yeah. as an actor. Yeah. That's how I spend most of my scenes. Right. Huh? Look at this. Yeah. Now, speaking of the scenes, there's some steamy uh, little sex scenes going on in that a lot. Where? In your movie, in your, in your TV show. Nip and Tuck? Yes, Nip and Tuck. Nip See? and Tuck. No, I swear to God, I was, I was, uh, when I first got the script, I was like, it has to be Nip and Tuck. Somebody put that slash there and they yeah. did the wrong thing. But yeah. I agree with you. But, I'm glad you but did. But the little knife thing in the, in the middle kind of works well, though. Yeah, I Once you get used to it, Nip Tuck kind of yeah. flows off the tongue. I get it. Okay. But, but, I, but, but, but I still right. think they're wrong. And yes. I think you I think they're wrong, too. I've just come around to it because I get paid to. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Nip and Tuck. Nip and Tuck. Um, is the, we're, the, the, season, uh, the second season of Nip and Tuck uh, premieres June 22nd on FX. Yes. And uh, season one will be available on DVD June 15th. And everybody here is getting one. <laughs> Trent Douglas and Allie Crum, and now for our big finish. <laughs>